Today we're working on my TRX 400 EX. We're going to be focusing on the rear brake, uh, specifically changing out the rear brake pads. Here I have the niche pads. I got them off of Amazon. So let's get to it. So it seems like all we're going to need is a 12 millimeter, a screwdriver, and a little hammer. And the bolts here and here are 12 millimeter, and then the ones that mount to the bottom are 12 millimeter. So what we need to do first is take your screwdriver, and then you want to bend these locking tabs back. Let's get these tabs knocked up, and they're not even knocked down, but let's get these tabs knocked up and out of the way. And then let's get these bolts out. So I'm not taking these all the way out, but I do want to loosen them up. And then after those are loose, like I said, the next two that we're going to get is going to be the bolt there and the bolt there. Once those bottom two are out, you just want to take the caliper and slot it off and then what we're going to do now is remove these two out of here just and all that all right and once we pull these out you can hear the brake the brake pads drop out and you can see here that there is absolutely no material left on these at all absolutely zero we need to take this cylinder and we need to push it in so that the new brake pads with the with the pad material has room in there but you want to take it and just push it in with the screwdriver and then you will see the cylinder retract just like so easier if you have a second person so once you're done you can take your slide pins out take the old pad material out and now you can see that the piston is all the way retracted so now we are ready to reinstall the brake pads we are going to take the shim here. I'm going to guess that the end that has the little clips is going to go towards the outside since that's the brake pad that doesn't move. So we're going to put that in. We're going to take the pads, insert them. The caliper is upside down. So we're going to insert them like this because when we put the slides through, it's going to go through the two holes in the top. So we're going to sit the inside pad, the outside pad, and then from here, you just need to work to align the brake pads with the sliding pins. If it decides to go, I've seen some people just do this and just get it. And then you got people like me that just be on the struggle bus. You want to take the brake pads. You want to spread them apart so that it will fit on the brake rotor. All right, just like that. And then once that is back on, you want to take your two caliper mounting bolts and get those inserted and if you are in to torque specs per the honda manual you want to torque the caliper bolts to 22 foot pounds and then you want to torque the pin bolts to 13 foot pounds 
so 13 foot pounds 22 foot pounds let me get these tightened up and i'll be right back and since we're all done with our back brake before you go anywhere what you want to do is you want to push the brake pedal a couple of times to get that brake piston to come out because you got to remember you push the brake piston all the way in to get new pads in so you want to make sure that you get that brake piston out so you want to hit this a couple of times just to make sure that everything is working and then you want to roll it and then actually make sure that the brakes is working correctly before you go out wide open throttle and then realize you have no rear brakes so once you do that you are good to go i don't know of any specific uh brake bedding that you're supposed to do on these just go out and ride so like everything you do think build and enjoy peace oh shit.